Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know what's happening in the Windows 11 Insider program in the Canary channel for this week, because Microsoft has rolled out a new build 27729 to the Canary channel Insiders. Now, first of all, just focusing on what is new. And the first feature is rolling out across the board in the Insider program. And it's the ability to configure the Copilot key where you can choose to have the Copilot key launch an app that is M6 packaged and signed, with Microsoft saying the key will continue to launch Copilot on devices that have the Copilot app installed until a customer selects a different experience. And they also mentioned that this setting can be found via settings, personalization, text input. And if the keyboard connected to your PC doesn't have a Copilot key adjusting the setting, Microsoft says, will not do anything and they are planning to add further improvements uh, in a future flight so there's a bit of work to do but this seems to be rolling out now across the board in the Windows 11 Insider program. Now that's the only new feature but we do get three important fixes just to mention for this video where they fixed an underlying issue causing some games including Microsoft Solitaire and casual games to crash on launch after installing a previous build and they also fixed an underlying issue which could cause the screen to go black for a few seconds for some people when using Alt and Tab. So that's also an important fix that's rolling out using Alt and Tab. And then they fixed an issue causing BitLocker to not work correctly for a small number of insiders in the last two flights. So those are three important fixes that have rolled out in this week's Canary Channel build. And then because it is very early days in the Canary Channel, there are a couple of known issues, which is expected. And then we get a snipping tool update, which introduces a new copy as table feature. And I posted a whole video on that uh, when it rolled out in a, another channel of the Insider program. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to get more info. I don't want to go through that all again because I have covered that quite in depth. And just a reminder about the Canary Channel. Microsoft says that the builds they release to the Canary Channel represent the latest platform changes early in the development cycle and should not be seen as matched to any specific release of Windows and features and experiences included in these builds may never get released as Microsoft says it tries out different concepts and gets feedback. So always take that in, into consideration with this very early preview build, the Canary Channel in the Windows 11 Insider program and that's what's new in 27729 for this week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.